If you're using cache on your site, you can choose to load the dynamic content in a separate AJAX request after the page loads from the cache. Page caching means serving a snapshot of the web page as seen by a previous site visitor, instead of constructing the page from the beginning every time a user requests it. With that explained, the integral conflict between page caching and serving different content is clear. One way to deal with this conflict is to disable the page caching on the specific page you would like to use dynamic content. This option is offered by all popular caching plugins and hosting providers and might come in handy in some cases. But in most cases, giving up on the significant advantages of page caching is a high price to pay. That brings us to the second option, loading your dynamic content using Ajax after the page loads from the cache. This option works automatically with all caching plugins, CDNs, and managed hosting solutions. All you have to do is go to the plugin settings and check the page caching compatibility option. Alternatively, if you want to enable the page caching compatibility for a specific trigger, you can simply add Ajax equals yes to the trigger's shortcode. Since the request will be made only after the page finishes loading, there will be a short time gap between the appearance of the page and the appearance of the dynamic content. The duration of the gap depends primarily on your server and the amount of dynamic content you wish to display. In most cases, the gap is insignificant. If you find it too long, you can consider adding a loader animation that will be displayed until the appearance of the dynamic version. This too can be done to all the triggers on your site through the plugin settings or by adding a parameter to the trigger's shortcode if you'd like to enable the option for a specific trigger. If so, a WordPress plugin that makes all the difference. Try it now for free.